Hello everybody, my name is Ace Pilot 109, also known as Captain John, and in this video, I'm going to be flying my brand new parachute airplane. Some of you might actually remember my paramotor prototypes that used a parachute and, well, some RC components to try and build a DIY paramotor. It's been about a year since then, and I said I would build another prototype, but I never ended up doing it. So now I've come back, and I came back with a completely new approach. Instead of having something that's like a paramotor, where it's just a motor dangling with a little rudder to steer, I actually built a whole airplane that is going to be suspended from the parachute. This parachute is the exact same one as before. It is a stunt kite parachute that I slightly modified by cutting holes in the rear and attached it to a beam here to hopefully allow the RC plane to fly. All right, parachute's untangled. This is what it looks like, same thing as before. And uh, let's try and get this thing in the air. I really don't want to throw it and it just face plant. Kind of like that. Well, even though that looked like a pretty gentle crash, we ended up breaking a propeller. We're back out here for day two. Let's hope for at least more than one flight compared to last time. Let's get right into it. Throughout all these flights that you're seeing here, I was actually adding and removing mass to try and attempt to trim out the aircraft in a way. Having the weight just right will significantly increase the performance of the aircraft, but there were some issues that I ran into, as I will explain later in the video. Too little mass and the aircraft is totally out of control. Too much mess, we don't have enough thrust to fly. That's full throttle and we're falling. As you can see, it's a very delicate balance, which I can't seem to be getting. All right, so in this section here, I'm gonna try and explain the issues that this aircraft is having and how I'm planning on fixing it. So first things first, as we all know, this parachute here is supposed to be the wing, so it's gonna be generating lift. Now, of course, the aircraft suspended from the parachute is going to be producing thrust. So we've got our center of lift and our center of thrust, and our center of mass for this whole aircraft is somewhere about right here. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is lift is actually a form of drag. The more lift you have, the more drag you have. So that means while our center of mass is down here, our center of lift is way up here, and our center of thrust is way down here. So as soon as we apply any thrust, this whole aircraft pivots like this. This is under regular flight conditions. But because the aircraft is moving forwards, the parachute is now creating drag in this direction. We have forces going this way and forces going this way. This creates a very large lever arm here that is basically trying to rotate the aircraft midair. So how do I go about fixing this? Well, you add more weight. But now because you got more weight, you need more power. So why don't you just add a heavier power plant? My solution was just to take the airplane that I already built, cut the nose off, and stick a power pack seam motor on it. This power plant is already about twice as heavy as the power plant that was already on the aircraft. So hopefully we're adding plenty of weight and we are definitely going to have plenty of thrust. As you can see, this basically just became a snub nose version of the paraplane. This is the newest version of that airplane that I've created. Believe it or not, it actually does get cold in Texas and I'm over here freezing my hands off to fly this thing. Hopefully we fix some of the issues that we discussed. This motor has about three pounds of static thrust, so hopefully it is plenty to make this thing fly. It's a little bit windy, but I'm gonna wait for a calm spot and go for it. So let's see how it goes. Oh my. All right, definitely broke a prop. The whole thing is busted and not working out too well. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it two paraplanes in one video. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please, if you know anything about paramotoring parachutes or see anything that you think could help me make this thing fly better, please leave a comment. Well, everyone, I really do hope you enjoyed. I hope to see all of you in the next video, and may you have more success than I have with this project.